Hello YouTubers, um, another toy review, and I am, well, happy to get started, um, so yep, let's get on with the Star Wars commemorative reviews, or should I say, let's get halfway done with it with this review, and today we've got the Clone Commander Bly, and I don't remember which battalion he's in, or platoon, and I don't remember who's this Jedi leader. I am sorry. I think he is the one. Um, I just don't remember which one he is. So, just wait a second, please. Sorry about that. So, yep. Um, if you hear anything, that's my dog eating in the background. I need to. I need to go check on her. So anyway, yep. So here's why. Um, let's get on to articulation. Um, st I think this is the. Ah, uh, God. Um. Isn't he like Mace Windu's clone battalion? I don't remember, but, um, yes. So articulation. Well, well, the visor can move in and out and up and down. So you can get it to lock in place like this. Which kind of looks more natural, but that just looks a lot better. Very limited ball jointed head because of this, um, armor piece. You can pop off his head and take off that, but I'll demonstrate that later. Ball, ball hinged, shoulders, elbows, too many stuff, and then swivel wrists. No waist, which is the downfall of this figure. There's no waist articulation at all. The only downfall to it. This is a 2000. Oh god set on him somewhere. This was a 2000 um, <sighs> 2004 mold. So this is the mold that came out when the figure was released. I'm sure, um, this, I, th this may be, they might have released a Bly, I don't remember, they released, like, a Commander Fox, I think it was, I don't remember, I wish I had my box to my Darth Vader helmet, because that had, like, wave one through, like, eight, I think it was, for the Revenge of the Sith, so, yeah, but then he's got swivel waist, I mean, uh, yeah. Not waist, uh, hips. Sorry. Ball jointed knees and ball jointed feet, thankfully. So he's still got. He still has very good articulation. This weapon, I do not remember what this. I think it's the battle rifle. I think that's all that it's called. You know, pump action battle rifle. And then, of course, like all the commanders, they have their little, um, pistols. They usually always do most no the most notable noticeable one is Rex. Which we don't see in the movies do we? we don't. Uh, the one, another downfall to this figure, that he has a hard time holding his blasters. I mean, I finally got that one to hold, and, but this one seems to be the problem. See, they just, well, now it works, of course. But yeah, but that still looks weird. I mean, it doesn't look natural. 
how he holds them. Oh, this arm is also like restricted because of that. Yes, he can hold them okay. Takes a little bit of time to figure out where you want it and to see if you'll actually hold it that way. But after that, you know, you can get him to actually hold it pretty well. And the holsters work very, very well. Just slide them in, press them in a little bit. Well, you don't really have to do that, you can just push them in. But... And this is good because you can do this for stop motion. I mean, you can literally have them like just put his hands over the hilt, and then you know you can actually make him hold him. Have him pull him out and just. And then, like, have a rubber band or something. Rubber band that to the back. Oh, wait, actually, I do have something. Though it might not work. Yeah, it's not going to work. I have those little clear elastic bands. Put that over him. Let's see if this will actually work. reach back and grab his gun. Good thing I just thought of that. And that works because the band actually is not breaking and it's truly you can't really notice it. I mean, like everything, everything's noticeable. It's kind of better to put it like that so you know you can kind of In this position, that doesn't look awkward. Well, right. Yeah, like that. Reach back. No, then he can pull out his gun. But yes, uh, this is a very, very, very good figure. Um, I think separately, this figure is hard to find. I don't really know. I, sadly, unless I watch a review of a clone commander or just a clone in general, I'll know if they're rare. But this one I do not know because you know, I was just a young kid when I when Revenge of the Sith came out. I was a young kid when episode two came out. So yeah. But yes, this is a very, very good figure. Um, you know, get a little elastic band, one of those clear ones, you know, you get them with every single figure pretty much nowadays. So, you know, you can you can do this to every single clone, you know. I mean, if they already have one of those little straps on them, you know, just work what you, with you can, but yeah. I'm not actually going to demonstrate taking this off, you know, you just pop off the head, pull that off, it takes a little pulling, put it back on. Yeah. And But then his head is like really, really, really loose, like he can really, he can go like look down like that, and he can look up like at that angle, and he can just, he can do that on that ball joint, he can do that, which is kind of weird. And then this can be removed, like I showed earlier. And this is supposed to be removed, like you can put. Of course, it doesn't have his belt, so he does look kind of weird. And of course, with that, it makes him look really upper chest, like Power of the Force line buff. Power of the Force line, too, anyway. So, yep. This has been a finger. A finger. Oh my figure review of the Commander Bly figure. This is a very nice figure. I think this is very accurate. Um, his legs are a little bit short though, but anyway. So, this is a very good figure. Um, details amazing. You know, there's not too much to a clone, so I really don't have to go over that with you guys. So anyway, this figure will get a 4.5 out of 5. It's just that one little waist articulation that puts it down 0.5 point, or 0.5 Helmets. So, yep. But either way, this is a very good figure. Pick them up if you can find them. I recommend if you 
like say you have the vintage mace. Well, you know what? I'll do that in the mace one do review. But anyway, so this has been a figure review. Get this figure. It's very nice. See you guys later. Next up, next up is Mace Windu. Whoa.